Welcome back to our travel home day video. It is currently 6.24 in the morning and we are on the road. We've decided we are not going to stay for breakfast because pretty much it's disgusting. There's not a really a great variety, is there? Uh, we was going to leave last night. Yeah. Unfortunately, I just got Too tired. so tired last night. And I, I, there was no point being... Party. Hello mate. Hey, you know, you right? duty home. Yeah, we will do. Um, so yeah, it's like I said, it's 6.25 or 6.24 and we are on our way. Um, so, fancy driving, being tired, yeah, so. leading fancy driving, being tired. So it was just a case of, okay, you know, we'll stay and we'll go early in the morning. But to be honest with you, the people upstairs, I don't know if they've gone home or some of them have gone home. But it was so quiet, wasn't it? Last night, only night sleep. Yeah. Had, the, only, like the whole um, breakaway. Yeah, I, we've had one full night's sleep in four nights. Um, so it's not been great. So we're going to head just to McDonald's just across the road to get some breakfast. Because to be honest with you, I'd much rather pay for McDonald's than eat the rubbish dirt oven up in there. Um, We've had quite a bad experience this break, which is quite unusual for Minehead, I must say. Um, they've done away with the guest services where you can actually go speak to someone. You have to do it either on chat or over the phone. That's probably because of the amount of abuse and stuff they used to get. But if they did the job right, then they wouldn't have this problem. Well, not so much their job right, but if the, man if the managerial higher, team, if the hierarchy yeah. um, wasn't so hell bent on everything's got to be a profit mm. um, and trying to make their profit margin bigger mm. I think they I think they wouldn't have the problems or the amount of complaints no uh, that's I think it's, it's part and parcel of it you know people wouldn't moan if there wasn't nothing to moan about yeah unfortunately Butlins is turning into a get as much profit as we can kind of thing everything like there's a lot of stuff there now that used to be included but is now like chargeable um and they're they're building this new play experience that lee mentioned the other day and um, we looked it up because we didn't know what it was and it's it's again it's chargeable you've got to buy activity tokens so you've paid all that money for a holiday and you've still got to give the kids money for activity tokens oh, and by the way i can see that going horribly wrong already yeah um, mark my words um this time I don't know, next year or the year after, there'll be problems because they're already doing. Uh, disabled bays are closed uh, off. Oh, it's alright, it's pretty cool. Um, the, the experience is what they call VR. So they've got VR stuff for during the day, and then they're doing alcohol pong. And bar games. And, uh, yeah, and alcohol bar games in the evening for the adults. Can you see? the problem and what that, that is going to create how many four thousand even if it was just this weekend where are you going to park four thousand five hundred people all playing all playing bar games being smashed off their face um there's going to be arguments it's going to yeah. go wrong it's i can see it already because unfortunately people at buttons cannot handle the drink so yeah, we've just got to McDonald's, which is literally just across the road from Butlins. Um, and we're just going to go and get some food. Everyone's tired, everyone's hungry. Um, but yeah, I'd much rather eat McDonald's than that slot they serve up, wouldn't you? Yeah. And yeah, again, guys, let me, let me go to the other side. I don't know. Do you remember the problem we had last time when we come up this way? Look, like, yeah, again, yet yeah, another. Delivery lorry. delivery lorry at McDonald's right across every single one of the disabled bays 
So as per usual, obviously disabilities. No, I don't care. Scrap that. Apparently it's only open till 7 a.m. Which is probably the only McDonald's I know that doesn't open early. Yeah. But I suppose like Lee just said, it's better to do that and do the delivery now before the store opens. Yeah, so I take that back about the moaning about the lorry. Yeah. At least they've got some common sense and they do their deliveries when the store's closed. Yeah. So he'll be gone and done by the time. But to be honest with you, it's only a small town, so um I can kind of understand, but if you wonder what this is on my lip, guys, I bit my bit the skin off my lip. It's really sore. But oh, I don't. I do it all the time. I do it without realizing, and then realize what what I've done. So we're gonna go to the McDonald's, another McDonald's along on route. But I think there is another one not far away. But just set it for home, babe. We'll, we'll pass one. So yeah, we're gonna start the five-hour drive home. Hopefully. Um, Hopefully we won't get a lot of traffic. Yeah, It'll hopefully. Be a nice, simple run home. Hopefully if we get started before like everyone else kind of leaves Butlins, it'll be all right. But, yeah. So we, ha we had have stopped off and had breakfast and we were back on the road again. But Lee was getting a little bit tired, so we stopped o off in this like little lay-by. Um, and I've got you got yourself a coffee, didn't you? Yep, I have. Um, here he is. He was like to get a bit tired. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we got Cadia. I'm getting old. Yeah, Cadia, Madison, and Kenzie's over there. Can you see him? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're getting old, didn't you, babe? Huh? Wait, you're getting old. I am indeed. Yeah, I think so. I was all right, but then it's such a long, boring it road. Is, yeah. yeah, that was it. Once you start, there's no point trying to overcome it. You're best to just stop, the minute, give the min yourself a break. The minute you start blinking, that's it. Yeah. You've, you've basically given in to kind of your body being tired. So yeah, we stopped at this lay-by and there's this like little burger van. It says, welcome to Joseph's burger van. So you think, okay, most places like that accept card nowadays, don't they? Um, so I said to Lee, because I've hurt my knee, I said to Lee, I've hurt my knee, <laughs> walk up there, see if they take card, and I'll get you a coffee. So obviously he's walked up there and he said, do you take card, mate? And he goes, I take cash or I take bank transfer. Bearing in mind, we're in the middle of the A303, is it? Uh, yeah. There is, we're in the middle of the A303 in some random lay-by <laughs> and he's just parked on the like top Look, of the lay-by and he thinks we're stupid enough to do bank transfer um no I don't think so I've been caught out like that once before guys and that ain't happening again so I'll show you where it is parked and you'll kind of get an idea it's not a big not a big burger van is he it's only a little one like what is he a Renault yeah, it's like a Renault traffic. Renault traffic, like van. Um, but it is it's done adaptive. Out properly, it's done out properly, but yeah, I'll show you what I mean. So there he is, guys, just sat up on the side of the road. There's the main road there, and then she makes an there's a lay-by just all around us. So yeah, like I said, you just—it's just a bit random and. But most of these places do take card nowadays, but there was no way I was doing bank transfer. I think more so since we got caught out, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, Lee's just gonna have a little break and hopefully that'll wake him up a little bit. I did say I would drive, but Lee knows I'm in pain. Pain? I'm in pain with my knee. But yeah, so Lee knows I'm in pain with my knee. So I don't, I said to him, I said, I don't mind driving but I don't want to put anyone in danger if my leg give, like, even though I don't have to use that leg, it's just really painful. I ain't got a clue what I've done to it, guys. Not a, not a Scooby. Um, it just randomly started hurting on holiday, didn't it? Babe, it just randomly started hurting. Yeah. And it's the side of my knee. It's not, it, it seems worse than my arthritic pain. So I really have no clue what it is. 
And of course, we stopped in the lay-by and Lee found a abandoned, what, what looks like an abandoned stables. But I'll get him to show you. Hold on. As Louise said, there is an abandoned stables. Well, I will show you. So we walk up this way. Um, and then, if you look, look behind me. It's there. Whether, whether it is still a stables that's in use or whether it's one that they just leave open and maybe the sheep can, maybe sheep or that have got access to it. So maybe they still use it, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, this is quite a, quite a busy part of the 303 this bit as you can hear the traffic going past it's quite a busy road we're normally hitting speeds of about 50 in the 60 so but we're gonna have a little bit of a just a little bit of a stop um just have a little stop Still two and a half hours, yeah, yeah. What? once we get some diesel then i might i'll bump uh, probably bump the um speed up a bit <laughs> Get on the motorway. Yeah, because you worry once the diesel light comes on. Yeah. No, it was a wasps. Oh. So we are almost home. We're about an hour from home, aren't we? Yeah. Um, we stopped off at Clackett's because um, I was getting hungry. I needed to stretch my leg. Um, so the kids have got McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> You just, when you said, well, I think you had to stretch my leg. You've only got one leg. No, I've got two legs, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, we, me and the kids yeah. had McDonald's. And Lee had something called Leon, was it? Yeah, I've never had them before. Um, you ain't bad. <laughs> I'll show you what he had. He's <laughs> eating it. He had this, peanut satay from a place called Leon over there. Leon. Leon. Uh, was it nice? Hmm? Like it? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah? Yeah. So Katie has got nuggets. That's got a, a double cheese bag. Yeah, still in the pajamas, guys. Lazy. We did set off at like half six this morning though, didn't we? And Kenzie had, what did you have, Kenzie's burger? burger. So yeah, Kay is still in the because we sat up at half six, but she was supposed to get dressed halfway home. Yeah, she got that but she's, she's just, ready for bed. But she's so. ready for bed, so. We ain't got no excuse tonight, have we? That, oh, oh, I'll have to do this, I'll have to go and get changed, I'll have to go and do that, because you're already done. So you can have a shower, when, when get when some clean pajamas on. No, she's like, she looked at me as I say, when did I mention shower? These are clean, I haven't worried the whole well, day. Well then, don't care, you're going to have a shower. I don't care. No, don't you pray with me. Right, so we'll catch up with you probably guys when we're home. So we are back home. It's some, um, we've been home for quite, quite a few hours now, but we just wanted to chill and relax. I've just had a shower, um, which was nice. Uh, as people know, if they've been to Butlins, the showers are not the biggest. Um, so... Yeah, we're just chilling. Lee's in bed. He's got a raging headache and toothache. So I probably won't see him for the rest of the night. Yeah. Katie is over there. She's really tired, though. She's fighting it. Big time. Um, Kenzie's over there. And oh, we're just going to have a chilled evening. They don't want no dinner. They had tank earlier, so they don't, they're not hungry. But they know they can help themselves to whatever they want, when they want. Well, that's your problem then, isn't it? So, until next time, guys, we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And stay we... safe, stay happy. She took the words right out of my mouth, guys. See you later.